Um, I would say that my priorities as a person now uh, is uh, in setting up new ventures um, that are not for profit making ventures um, that are designed to tackle some of the major problems in the world. Um, so I set them up uh, as if they were a business. I set them up like a business. Um, I want them to be entrepreneurial. Uh, we find good people to run them. Uh, we make sure they're properly funded. Uh, and then they set about um, trying to tackle the purpose that we set them up for. Um, give you one example. Um, uh, before the Iraq war, um, we were campaigning to, uh, sorry, not campaigning, we were trying to see if there was any way uh, that the war could be avoided. Um, and um, I approached Nelson Mandela and Kofi Annan and suggested that if the two of them went to see Saddam Hussein, um, perhaps using their moral authority, they could persuade him for the sake of his people uh, to step down as president and go and live the rest of his life in Libya and therefore avoid the invasion. Um, and they agreed to do so. Um, the day they were due to leave, uh, the bombing started. Uh, they never went. Um, but as a result of that, um, we decided that you know, perhaps the world would benefit from um, a group of elders, um, uh, properly geographically spread, uh, with, with high moral authority, um, with, with the right sort of gender mix, um, who uh, you know, could, uh, you know, like, a, like in an African village, um, uh, go into conflict situations uh, and knock heads together and try to resolve those conflicts. And Nelson Mandela and Gratia Michelle became um, the elders who, the founding elders, um, they set the elders up um, and asked people like President Carter and um, Archbishop Tutu and Mary Robinson uh, Kofi Annan and others um, to um, become elders and um, and over the last uh, couple of years they've done some some wonderful work and um, hopefully in a few hundred years time they will be still around but we run that organization just like we run a business um, you know with with a great team of people running it uh, well funded uh, in order to enable them to do the job of um, trying to resolve conflicts With difficulty, um, uh, but um, uh, but uh, you know, if the causes themselves were important enough, um, I would try to use the power of persuasion to um, you know set up the causes. I'd try to use the power of persuasion to try to find people to um, to to, su to support those causes um, and. Uh, and in a sense, that's you know how I began as a you know as a 16-year-old when I left school very young, wanted to start a magazine to without without finance to um, to try to campaign against the Vietnamese War and other injustices in the world. Um, you know, I had to use my power of persuasion to get out there and persuade advertisers and distributors and others to um, you know to to accept the magazine or take the magazine and. Um, and, and you know, so uh, you know that was that was my, the start in my business, and um, and I think that um, you know that if, if you if you've got an idea that merits attention, uh, then go and bang on people's doors and don't accept no for an answer. Um, I love life. Uh, I love listening. I love traveling, um, and I'm learning all the time. Um, you know, I think the fact that you know that, that the fact that I've gone into so many different areas, you know, whether it's you know aviation, whether it's um, uh, trains, whether it's space travel, whether it's uh, you know phil philanthropic issues, um, you know, I've just spent a lifetime of learning, um, and um, uh, and you know, I love to read, um, you know, I love to you know read good books about um, you know global warming issues. I don't just read. You know the Tim Flannery books and the, um, you know the the James Lovelock books. I also uh, read books that are questioning global warming, so I can uh, you know make a uh, you know make 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 a uh, make a proper calculation on issues. Um, uh, but I just love life, so I love to live life to its full and learn all the time.